Estonia is a country with a population of around one and a half million people. A thriving member of the European Union, it is also totally committed to technology adoption, from e-government initiatives to simply supporting the very best broadband services for its people. As network operator Starman turns on Europe's first nationwide 10 gigabit EPON service in the capital city of Tallinn, Total Telecom TV has come to speak with former Estonian Prime Minister and Deputy Speaker Tavi Rovas to find out more. Mr Rovas, thank you for speaking to us. Now, Estonia has a great reputation as being very much in the forefront of technology. Why is broadband so important to your country and its development? Well, internet is considered the human right in Estonia. It is an uh, integral part of our everyday life uh, to use all kinds of uh, e-services. And of course, it's uh, important to have uh, fast connections. Uh, um, as we have uh, more and more um, uh, services developing, as we have more and more people using the internet, the bandwidth is uh, giving us the opportunity for um, using it even more. And of course, today they've launched the new first ever 10 gig EPON network. Your local uh, supplier, Starman, with Nokia, have done that. It's going to enable you to get more of those government e-services out there. Well, I believe so, and I think it's um, also giving this kind of uh, stronger backbone uh, for the internet. Uh, as, as technology is developing, uh, there are also uh, bigger amounts of data that need to be uh, exchanged, and also we need to look ahead a couple of years. Uh, we have to think about things like uh, Internet of Things, we have to think of uh, self-driving cars. They all need connectivity, they all uh, use some of this bandwidth and, and of course uh, the better um, internet connections we have across the country the better for those services. Tell us about some of the services the government is already behind on e-services. On e, on e services. Well for almost 15 years Estonia has uh, used uh, digital as default in terms of offering uh, public services for the people. This means that if you want to interact with the government, the first thing you probably would do as a citizen would be log into um, uh, the government portal and do everything there. So today there are hardly any uh, public services where you need to kind of go somewhere with your papers uh, submitting some kind of information. And, and this is uh, um, due to two reasons. First of all, of course, we want to make the government as efficient and transparent as possible and then digital is uh, giving us all the tools for that. And secondly, you know, we have a theory in Estonia that people have actually better things to do than queue up in, in different uh, municipal or, or government offices in order to submit the information. If you can do it uh, more easily, you should do it more easily. Where would you like to see uh, Estonia technically in the next five years, say? Well, as we have um, introduced uh, 15 years ago, digital identity, digital signature, that has actually given us all the means for all kinds of services being provided uh, uh, over internet. And we have done a lot, but we, I believe, are still scratching the top of the iceberg in terms of opportunities. Uh, I believe that in five years' time we should have um, uh, doctor's appointment in the same way as we are um, booking our hotels using an app uh, and uh, finding the closest doctor that has free time for me. Or we should have um, um, things uh, in the back office working this way that you don't even uh, have to report anything as a citizen, for example, uh, you as an uh, entrepreneur could opt for uh, uh, tax declarations being done for you. Uh, in essence, most of the things you are declaring are actually things that uh, some other government uh, office already knows about you. So government has to work uh, in order to make the system uh, interoperable so that you as a citizen don't need to worry about all kinds of uh, you know, red tape and, and all kinds of uh, reporting. And this new national network that's helping move towards that point, it must be quite good that it's actually provided by the Nordic supplier in Nokia. I'm told with a good pair of binoculars, you could probably see their Helsinki office from your, from your office here. Well, Finland is very close to Estonia, and Finland is also the first country with which we are uh, testing uh, cross-country e-services. Imagine how it would be like if we would have 
everywhere in Europe uh, digital services that can be used across borders or everywhere in the world for that matter. And, and uh, with Finland we actually have the roadmap uh, to do that, uh, to um, use digital prescriptions that work uh, across the uh, Gulf, uh, to have uh, uh, tax authorities uh, communicating with each other. That gives us tremendous uh, opportunities in terms of being better informed and also saving our citizens a lot of time and that hassle. Well, it sounds like an exciting future ahead for Estonia. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much.